Thank you. All right, Joe, can you tell me what happened when you saw these police officers and tell me what went down there today? Absolutely. We were videotaping the UFOs, trying to get a good video. And I kind of, my camera's not the best for taking, taking video of UFOs. So I was videotaping the people and all that to add to the credibility of it all, right, with the sounds and everything. Then we saw a police uh, cruiser stop by. They got out of the vehicle to come and look to see what was going on. So I started videotaping them. And the female officer asked me if it was a satellite. You don't believe it, huh? It's true. It's probably a satellite. No, it's not, no. There, there, there's some up here here on this side too. Different places. And I said, uh, well, satellites don't stay in one, in one place, they move. So uh, she didn't say it was a helicopter or nothing like that. So she, she, even, she even asked if it was a uh, planet. It was 1 p.m. or so. She was asking if it was a planet. So to me, it's quite amazing. Did she? walk away afterwards thinking that she didn't know what she saw and it could have possibly been a UFO? Absolutely, absolutely. Her partner was also watching with binoculars and they were both scratching their heads. He got on the phone right away to call his mother or his wife to tell them what was going on. So the word got out and the police officer is sharing with his wife, I'm looking at a UFO right now. This is absolutely classic. You know, we did get some great footage today from LA and it possibly could be exactly what the police officers were uh, witnessing. Hey, Joe, I know you're a private investigator in the past and you actually investigated us right here at Third Phase of Moon to try and debunk what Robert Bingham was doing. Explain to me exactly. what your conclusion is. I'm still an investigator. My conclusion is this is not fake at all. It's not fake at all. It's the real thing, absolutely the real thing. And it's worldwide all over the place. I don't agree with what he says about them being angels from God. I think it's the opposite, but that's a difference of opinion. But it is real, meaning that it is happening. And maybe it's a sign about the last days or something. Hey, well, this footage that you shared with us and having police officers witness this is absolutely amazing. I want to thank you for sharing this footage with us at thank Third you. Phase of Moon. Sure, thank you. All right, Joe, we'll see you and everybody else on YouTube next time. Hello? Did you see it, ma'am? No, I can't. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. I see a white dot. Well, yeah, that dot, it was over here and it starts moving that way. It's not a satellite? No, it's not. No, 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 no. Satellites oh, continue going. They continue going. No, because we saw some over here, and in a little while, look. How did you even come out here? There's this guy, there's this guy in the white shirt. You see him over there? In the white, in the white shirt. He calls them. He calls them. It gets weirder than this. He calls them. Oh, it's not the first one. Third phase of moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and tonight. We're here Skyping all the way from Hollywood, Los Angeles with the boys who caught that amazing footage just two days ago of UFOs over the Hollywood, LA area at night. Over like mid -town. You see like those mid -town. UFOs Where they going? over Hollywood. Thanks for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon, guys. Mitchell. Nice to join us. Thanks. Thanks for having us. All right, <laughs> this, this video is going viral right now and it's almost up to 60,000 hits. Mitchell, tell me what you saw and what you're experiencing when you saw these amazing lights in the sky. Amazing lights in the sky. Um, you know, we saw lights in the sky and my first reaction was to grab a camera because that's kind of my reaction to always doing something is grabbing a camera. And uh, I shot it and at first, you know, lights in the sky, you see lights in the sky all the time, but you know, Steve, Steve's throwing out, oh, energy, UFO. And then, you know, stuff starts to click and it just looks weird when lights are just rising out the ground, you know, into the sky and disappear. So we just filmed it. Hey, one of the most amazing scenes in the video is when somebody calls out, that helicopter's gonna follow that UFO and it turns out it really does. Boom. All right, here we go. Helicopter's heading over there. All we know is that orb of energy is still there, bro. It's still chilling. I'm about to find out what it is. 
Oh, he's like on it, man. What? Look, he's turning. They're turning, bro. They're circling it. Oh. Bro, they're circling it. <laughs> Dude, no fucking way. Is that another one? It's like really small. Yeah. They're circling it, bro. It's going right by it. You see that shit? Yeah. If you saw what we saw like in person, like, okay, I could see, you know, on video maybe like people are like Chinese lanterns. But honestly, like in real life and everyone that commented all around Hollywood, we all saw like these things were huge. Like they were big, like they were nearly the size of the helicopter. And the light that you could see like in person, it was giving off, it was like intense. Like, you know, it was, that's why I was like energy because this it was like pulsing. Like, you know. At one point in the video was when the UFO and the helicopter seemed like they merged for a second or the helicopter got so close, it was scared what it saw and just immediately took off. Is this correct? Dude, what if they look how close like, they're getting to it, bro? They're like slowing down and getting real close. Wow. Look at this shit. Oh! What just happened? Where is it smaller? Where's that the helicopter taking off? Yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, you guys saw, like, I mean. It literally, it, it like crept up and like it was going around it pretty like at a good speed. But when it starts to creep up, you guys can tell that it's going slower than it was before. And the moment it got right by it, it takes it off. It just takes off fast as hell. All the way down. It either got scared or it got pushed away or something. It saw something weird and just like, ah, we gotta go. Or, yeah, and they came know. back with backup, like literally. They were, <laughs> They were there, like in that area, all night long. Um, but when you saw the three uh, particular uh, lights, uh, that's when it made a difference. The video really doesn't know justice. Um, I think there was a YouTube comment, Spike commented saying that they were at a party, and the DJ stopped the music and told the party goers that uh, to look up into the sky. And everybody gazed up at the stars for like five minutes, and then the party began or whatever. So other people saw it too, uh, from different parts of uh, like. That's what's like really really um, saving this because a lot of people around here saw it too and they were hoping that someone caught it on tape and if you see the comments they're like thanking us because they saw it as well and they wanted it to be caught on tape and we just so happened to have front row seats so um. Abs absolutely fantastic you know just keeping an eye on the sky no matter where you are and having your camera ready that's what it's all about, capturing these amazing lights. And LA is really right now a hot spot for UFO activity. It's amazing. If anybody out there has captured UFO activity like these guys in Los Angeles, contact us at Third Phase of Moon. Hey guys no, out there, I really appreciate you sharing your amazing video with us. <laughs> hey, no problem. Appreciate no problem, it, man. We we appreciate it. Make sure everyone else sees that we live. Spread the word. Spread the word. Spread the word, I mean, they're out there. They're here for a reason. No. The truth is out there. Don't let find out the reason. I'm not trying to find out the reason. Fantastic. <laughs> My name is Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time. Back to the third phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and today we're Skyping from Los Angeles with eyewitnesses who captured amazing UFOs over the skies of LA. Again, is on July 8th when the massive sighting happened. Hundreds, if not tens of thousands of people saw this and witnessed it. Thanks for joining us at Third Phase of Moon. Well, this is amazing footage. Tell me, how did you come across even looking up in the sky this night? Uh, I was in the backyard uh, letting my little dog out and uh, he was whining and staring up at the sky and I happened to look over my shoulder and I saw the brightest light, something like I've never seen before in my life. Three of them stationary in the sky and they were perfect orbs. They were letting off a red, almost pinkish, orange 
light from them. And I saw another one starting to come in and my eyes, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I ran into the house to get my son. I had to have someone else see and witness what I was seeing. Yeah, and then that's when I uh, came in, ran outside, uh, looked up, saw like, I don't know, it looked like four or five just like in the sky stationary and then more coming in from the distance. They kept coming in from towards the ocean. We live close to the Santa Monica airport and we saw them coming into the north of the Santa Monica airport, almost following the 10 freeway, coming at a southeasterly direction. They were perfectly spaced in the sky apart as they were coming in and they would stop at a certain point in the sky, hover right there and start to ascend and then would fl either flash out or just disappear real fast. I couldn't decide what they were doing and I counted between 14 and 22 of them. Amazing. Yeah. You know, we, I, we posted this video of Mitchell Ludlin's footage over the Los Angeles area at the same time. Did you see this video that we posted on our third phase of Moon channel? Uh, yeah. And, we did, the following day. And does it look very, is it the exact same thing at the exact same time that you witnessed yeah, this? They, they, uh, after we saw them, they started going up or disappearing, and that's when you start seeing them from the, uh, the Breaking News Hollywood video. Because we saw them probably about 10.35 p.m., and that's when they started coming in. Yeah. Well, what I really like and appreciate is this Skype and interviews. If anybody out there on July 8th was out at the same time and captured anything like Brandon, he sent it to us at Third Phase of Moon. I really want to thank you guys for sharing your amazing footage with us. Can I say one more thing? Certainly. When you saw these orbs, when we took the pictures, the pictures didn't look, you couldn't see the brightness, the reddish orange coming off it, but they lit up the skies. They lit up all the clouds around them. They really look different from uh, pictures. It really doesn't do them justice. Yeah. You know, taking pictures of UFOs isn't the easiest thing in the world. And again, I want to thank you for uh, sharing this amazing footage and these photos. My name's Blake Cousins. And we'll see you again. Welcome Next back to time. Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and today we're Skyping all the way from the UK with Shaw Shank, who caught an amazing UFO as it hovered over his head. Actually, it wasn't just one, there were two incredibly bright red UFOs. Thanks for joining us here at Third Phase.